Hey guys, Alex here. In this video, I will be showing you my process for restoring your sun damaged and yellowed bricks. In today's scenario, I have a Lego set here, or part of a Lego set, number 6441 Deep Sea Refuge from 1997. And as you can see, this has some bricks that are quite yellow. This has spent some time in the sun, unfortunately, and as a result, a lot of these bricks are quite yellow, particularly these top panels. Even if I take off one of these uh, pieces that has been sitting on top, you can see there that it's been protecting it and that's what it should look like. However, it has lost its white shine. There's a lot of other pieces on here that are quite ugly on the sides here. You can see these are very sun damaged and yellowed. Um, not all of the Lego uh, bricks get discolored for some reason, just some have a more of a bad reaction than others. Um, but your natural inclination is to say, well, that is ugly, let's get some replacement pieces and throw these old ones out. But I'm telling you that you do not need to throw away any Lego brick. There is a way to restore them to make them look almost as good as new, or in some cases as good as new, and I'll show you how. Okay, I have separated the colored bricks from the white bricks, and the white bricks are what we're going to focus on because they are the ones that are discolored. And uh, by way of comparison, um, here is one of the, the bricks from the set that is uh, sun damaged, and here is a used brick uh, that is not sun damaged. So what we're trying to do is get uh, this brick to look a lot like this one. And so this is a really good uh, uh, set to use because um, it's very damaged. So if this turns out to be like this at the end of the process, uh, we'll know it's a success. The active ingredient to restore your sun damaged bricks is hydrogen peroxide. And from what I understand, the sun's ultraviolet rays have a chemical reaction with the fire retardant built within each Lego brick, and that's what causes that ugly yellowing. And the hydrogen peroxide apparently reverses that process. Now, I'm not a scientist or a chemist. I don't pretend to understand what's going on. I just know that hydrogen peroxide will actually reverse that process. Now these bottles I bought at my local Walmart. You can buy them at your local grocery store, I'm, I'm sure. These are 32 ounce bottles, and they're actually pretty cheap. I got these for 88 cents each, so you, uh, you can get quite a lot of this and uh, don't have to reuse it over and over again. All right, I got my hydrogen peroxide now with me, as well as a container from my kitchen. This is just some Tupperware I stole, and hopefully my wife won't miss it. Uh, but you'll need a container that uh, is going to be able to hold liquid, and that'll be big enough to hold your uh, Lego pieces. So I'm going to throw in the, uh, these larger pieces here first. Throw in the rest. And your Lego pieces do like to float in liquid, so what I like to do is get some sort of barrier. I just kind of put this together really quick and I will actually put a rock on top of it to hold it down. Uh, may not be necessary, but I like to do that anyway. Now we can add our ingredient of hydrogen peroxide. Now the water in this will evaporate over time, so you want to fill it as much as possible. Now this will be filled up pretty high, it looks like, so I'll want to check this uh, frequently to make sure that all of my bricks are submerged uh, in the hydrogen peroxide or it's not going to work. So it is filled really close right there. Okay, which took uh, probably about two-thirds of this bottle. <laughs> But that is it. It is now ready to go. Now is the fun part where we just wait. Okay, we are up here in my kitchen and we're about to take this outside. Josh, will you get that door for me, buddy? Yep. Thank you. All right. Okay, now we are going to let this uh, sit in the sun. Now the reason for that being is, for whatever reason, the sun acts as a catalyst to decrease the time that is needed for these to uh, get uh, back to their original uh, glowing white color. Um, it's really interesting that that is the case because it's the sun that does the damage in the first place. So very odd that that helps reversing the process. Um, I have uh, tried this with gray bricks. It doesn't really work. It actually um, damages the color on those to uh, a very light gray, a very ugly whitish gray. So. Uh, avoid any kind of colored bricks um, with the sun. You can soak them in hydrogen peroxide. The gray bricks, I've had success with them. 
uh, but keep them indoors in the hydrogen peroxide. But the white bricks though, if you have all white like this, um, go ahead and let them uh, soak in the sun. Uh, they, will, uh, they will actually do much better. So I usually wait a week or so, uh, just because I'm so busy during the weekdays. I just give it that amount of time anyway. I don't really know if that's how long it really does take. Uh, however, uh, we'll give this a week and see what it looks like at that point. And of course, I'll check it every day just to make sure that the uh, level of hydrogen peroxide is encompassing all of the uh, bricks and uh, rotate it as well so that all the, uh, the bricks have their fair share in the sun. Look at that. That is horrible. Look at that yellowing in there. It's nasty. So this is a good group of Lego bricks to, to test this on. So we'll check this out in a little while. And uh, for you, it won't be much time, but for me, it's going to be several days. So we'll check back. We are back. It is Thursday. This has had four days to soak and it really is more than enough time uh, to get this back to a very white color, it looks like anyway. Uh, you can see that the level of the hydrogen peroxide is down to about here. I've had to come out here every day about this time and refill it to this point. So every day it loses that much uh, due to evaporation. So we're going to take this inside, we're going to drain it, uh, rinse off the Lego bricks, and dry them off and then we'll be able to do our comparison. All right, we are down in the basement with the Lego bricks that have been treated. Uh, they're still drying a little bit. It's always hard to get them completely dry once they're wet. Uh, the elements I want to show off, uh, in fact, actually before I get to that, let me show you uh, an element that had a sticker on it. Here's one. Uh, as you can see, there's, been, there's no damage to this sticker. I've done this uh, with a lot of elements with stickers attached and there's never been any damage. So just want to make you guys aware of that. Uh, these elements right here at the beginning were the most uh, sun damaged and as you can see there's no visible yellow, uh, yellowing on them so they look pretty good. So let's use one here and compare it to that used brick at the beginning of the video. As you can see there is not much of a difference here. They look pretty darn similar in color. In fact I'd say the one that's been treated here on the right uh, looks better. Uh, so I'd say this has been a success. Um, the bricks all look generally good, so now at this point you can rebuild your set and it is good as new. You didn't have to spend any money on new bricks, you don't have to throw anything away, and, uh, and that's it. So hope you guys learned something new, and uh, it's a relatively uh, cheap process, just takes a little bit of time. Uh, but good luck to you guys in restoring your uh, yellowed and discolored bricks. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.